So that's a very interesting question, which is that in the cycle of pleasure and suffering, can you apply a mantar tuhi tuhi, for example, to help you cope with the cycle and deal with the pleasure, deal with knowing that the pleasure is going to be followed by suffering and then deal with the suffering itself. How mantar naam deals with the pleasure is that it doesn't engage and attach itself to the pleasure. And the pleasure of naam outweighs the physical sensation that you're engaging in with your senses. So if you're enjoying pleasure, if you're enjoying anything, whatever it may be, the way Naam Simran helps is that it overrides this pleasure. So you have the pleasure, you're thankful for it, you're grateful for a comfortable life and a comfortable experience. But Naam says that even though this pleasure is there, I'm not to attach to this. That the one experiencing the pleasure has found a greater pleasure. And so, because you don't attach yourself to that pleasure, because of Naam, then when that pleasure turns to suffering, which it will, you're not affected by that suffering so much. The reason we suffer is because we want to hold on to the pleasure, because we've created an attachment with that pleasure. The reason we suffer is because we don't want to let go of that. With Naam Simran, you're letting go of it while it's happening. You're indifferent to it while it's happening. It's nice while it's there, but you're indifferent to it. If it goes away, it doesn't change your pleasure within yourself. It doesn't change the experience, the euphoria that you're feeling, because the euphoria that you're feeling isn't coming from that. It's coming from the Naam. And Naam is something that can never be taken away from you. That's not a pleasure that can go away. Because it isn't a, a commodity that's temporary. It isn't a physical object. Anything physical will disappear in some way or another. So it, it already helps you within the time of pleasure. It already helps you deal with the suffering. And it also reduces the amount of suffering because the suffering wasn't going to be created in the first place because you're not attached to that pleasure. And when you're in the suffering, Naam Simran allows you to create that sense of pleasure within the difficult times. Gurbani talks about, if you give me happiness, then I'm satisfied with it. And if you give me suffering, within the suffering I will celebrate. I will also see pleasure in it. Is suk de ta tuje aradi within suk I meditate on you. Duk bi tuje ti ai in med in in suffering I also meditate on you. Je pukh de ta itehi raja. If you give me hunger, then I'm also satisfied. Duk vich suk manai within duk I will celebrate. I will be happy. So the idea of naam carrying through all these different states of mind is what Gurbani is talking about. If you give me happiness, I don't attach to that happiness, I attach to the one giving the happiness. Je de, if you give me happiness, ta tuje aradi, then I meditate on you. And dukh vich tuje tiai, and in suffering I will still meditate on you. If you give me hunger, I'll still be satisfied because within that suffering I will be in pleasure. So this naam is almost like a, a layer that you that you shield yourself from all the suffering, but you also shield yourself from the pleasure.